Right, I'm here today to demonstrate the surgical removal of this uh, fungal toenail. As you can see, this, this, this toenail here has got a severe fungal nail infection. And my patient has had this infection for well over five years and um, nothing is really working to, to treat this infection. So the best treatment option um, is to take the nail off, to totally avulse it, and then um, give my gentleman a course of four lunalas at a, at a weekly, uh, weekly intervals, one a week, over a period of a month to encourage new healthy nail growth. If you look closely at the nail, you will see an area here that is very densely discolored here, very yellow. And that could well be a dermatophytoma, which is an area of compacted fungal uh, colonization of, of infection and they're very very hard to treat um, conservatively with topicals even lunala uh, laser can have a problem with this because it potentially could have a biofilm in it and a biofilm will be trapping uh, dormant spores which at some point will um, come alive and then just start um, propagating and we have a new colonization and off we go. So we really need to get this nail off and then with a laser we can uh, treat the nail beds of any infection in there, trap spores and get a healthier result. All right so first of all I need to anesthetize this big toe. Okay so you are going to feel a sharp scratch here and for the purpose of this video, I'm at a slight angle here for the camera. Okay. Now, when I discuss removing toenails with patients, they become very squeamish at the idea. Um, but it's actually a very, very simple procedure. Okay. So we're just getting the top. And I'm going back over to the other side to go further down to reach the, the plantar innovating nerves. Are we all right up there? Yeah. Okay. So just gently get that in. So that's one in and I'm just going to put another cartridge in. One won't do it. I want to ensure that this is a, a totally painless procedure. All right, so I'm now going to go back in to where I started that one. Just going deeper down this time to get a bit more in there. Right, so we're now ready to take the nail off. It's a very humid day today and it's taken me about half an hour to put my gloves on. But we are now ready to begin. Okay, so what we normally do is, first of all, I always put a tourniquet on. It's, it's easier to work in a, a bloodless area. So I'm just going to gently prise, well, you could call it the cuticle or the epinechium. We're just going to remove that at the bottom. Okay, so it's all nice and loose. And then I just need to get underneath there. Now, this is removing very, very easily. You can see I'm not straining to do this. That went in very easily. Okay, then I come out again and I go back in. Now, one of the reasons it is so easy to remove is because it's so diseased. Although sometimes you can get nails where they've, the, the nail bed is so damaged underneath that you're actually going against a lot of fibrous scar tissue. And I'm now just going to release the other side. There we go. And I'm just going to ask my gentleman what he feels as I'm doing this now. Can you feel anything? No, I can't feel anything at all. So you're just feeling pressure? A little so bit of pressure? Small amount of pressure. Okay. So that nail is now loose. So I get a pair of forceps and I take that down to the base, clamp on, uh, get it to clamp, and then we gently just begin to prise that side away. 
and you can see how far it goes down into the corner there. Go to the other side and now interestingly if we can get the camera closer take that away you can see where the infection is just invading the matrix the all this is all the new nail that's created you can see how it's just wanting to get in there and at this point it's really invaded into the the matrix and this is the, the bit you know you, you need to, to treat this infection which is underneath to really get a good result so now I'm just going to take that nail off there we are and you can see there's a little bit of fibrous tissue there from where it was attached and that is the underside of the nail and if you look at that you can see how diseased it was underneath and if you get again you'll see the yellowing under there where the infection is right down on the nail ba base so we made the right decision. You certainly have.